is Sarah with SewingPartsOnline.com and welcome back to our Beginner's Guide to Serging. In episode 3, we're going to learn how to thread your serger. So your machine should have some onboard threading diagram to help you thread your machine. The idea is to follow these color-coded lines, which continue with the colored dots. Over here is another diagram to help you thread the lower looper, which is the most complicated part of this entire process. Down here you have another graphic showing the standard tension settings and a 4 thread and 3 thread overlock. Now it's really just a starting point because so many factors affect the tension and we'll get into that a little bit more later when we start making our stitches. Anywho, let's get started. You need your spool holders and your nets and of course your good quality thread. Today we're using Madeira. Go ahead and put on your spool holders. Then we can put on our thread nets. Pull out the end of your thread and place on your thread stand. And of course you just repeat this with all of your spools. Pull your thread stand up to the highest position and bring your thread ends up to the loops. Now we're going to start with our upper looper thread, which is my bright green thread. Pop it into the little metal clip, which is the second from the right, and just lay it in the groove. And since we're just letting the thread chill in this little groove right here, let's just get the other three spools clipped in as well and get it out of the way. Set all of your tension discs to zero. Now you want to make sure your thread is really flossed in between those tension discs. So we've got the first part of our threading all set up. Now we need to start from the middle and work our way out. So one, two, three, four. Upper looper, lower looper, right needle, left needle. So go ahead and open up your cover. Your needle should be in the highest position. Now with your tweezers, grab the upper looper thread, which for us is our green thread, and pass it behind the metal hook here. Then just follow the dots down, down, up, into the upper looper, through the eye hole on the upper looper, come from behind it and continue to pull the thread through, then pull it under and to the side of the presser foot. Now let me show you again from a better angle. So now the upper looper is threaded, time to move on to our lower looper. Again, pass the lower looper thread, which is our hot pink thread, behind the metal hook, then follow the yellow dots just like we did before. Now's the hard part, threading the lower looper needle. Pass the thread behind the lower looper needle and then hook it on to the little cutout. It's very hard to see because it's almost like hidden inside the machine. And this diagram kind of helps you visualize it. This part is the trickiest. If you can get through this part, then the rest is easy. Now you want to pass the thread through the eye of the lower looper needle. This part can also be a little tricky. Once you get the end through the hole, just come from behind it and pull it all the way through. And there you go. Both loopers are threaded. Make sure the ends are pulled under into the side of the presser foot. Now it's time to thread the needles. First, we'll thread the right needle, which for us is the white thread. Pass it under the first metal clip and the second metal clip and up to the green dot and then down to the little thread holder above the right needle. Now because I don't have a microscope on hand, <laughs> we'll be using a needle threader. Once you get it threaded, simply pass the thread under the presser foot and off to the side with the other thread. Now to thread the left needle. For us, that's going to be the black thread. Pass it under the metal hook up to the blue dot and down to the little thread holder above the left needle. Again, grab your needle threader. After your needle is threaded, pass it under the presser foot and off to the side with our other thread. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you want to hang out with our sewing community, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, Twitter at sewingparts, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, we're everywhere, and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button below for next week's sewing video.